Hey guys, my name's Josh, and behind me we have an Australia Day tradition, Coco Tracing. Let's go check it out. Alright, so I'm here with the mascot for the cockroach racing event. Can you explain what the heck's going on behind us? Yeah man, so there's a massive annual cockroach race. Yeah. So cockroach races are hold, held every year on Australia Day. Yeah. Fastest one outside of the little lines, win. This year we've got 12 races, so 40 cockroaches in each race, so a lot of cockroaches. Where do you get the cockroaches from? Okay, so we get the cockroaches from Melbourne. They come from Melbourne University. So they're bred in, inside the university there and then they're all flown up on an aeroplane. Wow, business class? I think it's business class, yeah. Can you explain how the race actually works? Well, the race works, you have 40 cockroaches in a barrel. They then put it on someone's shoulder to carry it in. You've got the marching band, which I think you can hear now going in. Um, they then have a target set up at the bottom of the, the ring and they put the cockroaches down, lift the barrel up and the cockroaches run and if you win a race, or come second or third, you get a prize. And all the money goes to charity. What's the excitement in cockroach racing? What's so exciting about it? Oh, I don't really come for the cockroach races. I'll just come for the booze and to celebrate the public holiday. It's freaking cockroach racing. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, that's cool. It's just, if you can bet on it, you know, it's, it's exciting. And all this money goes to charity, Young Care. Um, so, you know, something we like to do is to, you know, support the battlers, charities, donations. You know, if we can, Bet on something, have a bit of fun. Is it, if it's stupid, doesn't matter, but it goes towards a good cause. And uh, how'd you find out about this event? Uh, I've known about it for years, local. Just through word of mouth, social media, I've been coming for three or four years. I'm actually a veteran here. Um, I've been coming for eight years. I used to live across the road, so. Um, I just looked up what's happening on Australia Day and it came up. Mate, I live down the road. It's very simple. My parents dragged me along, <laughs> so I thought I might as well just check it out, yeah. And yesterday we Googled what to do in Australia Day and I said, Kakra Trace is like, oh, we have to go there. That's so cool. What do you have to say to foreigners watching this video and thinking, what on earth are you Australians doing? Enjoying life. We're having the best day ever. Welcome to Australia. <laughs> this is normal for us. Uh, just get here and uh, see for yourself. Get, uh, get some Vegemite and VB up here and enjoy Australia Day. What else do you have planned for your Australia Day after this? Probably just drink some more and then drink a bit more and then go out tonight and have another drink. Partying and drinking. Back to our place, barbecue yeah. and more drinking. Classic. Mate, I'm, I'm working all day, all night, so I'm just supporting the cause here for a great time, so let's get it. Off to the Gabba to hopefully watch the Aussies uh, bowl out the uh, Sri Lankans and get a win. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. My video in two weeks will be from a completely different country. So leave a comment, let me know where you think it'll be. Stay tuned.